Now, if you look at the size of the trunks on some of these trees, these empty trees, you'll see most of them are around 100 years old. A lot of them are 100 years or more because they're huge. There's several that aren't, but most of them, on this road anyway, are. You can see the skyline, you can see through the trees. That's from the caterpillars or caterpillars, caterpillars, I don't know how you say it. But you shouldn't be seeing anything except nice shade. I guess there's not really anything you can do about it. Can you see that one? You can see right through to the sky above it in the clouds. And that was fully leafed out just a few weeks ago. Beautiful, full of leaves. I'll show you what they're supposed to look like when I get to an area where it isn't devastated. I'll just keep it going for now. I'm in my husband's truck. That's why I don't know where any of the buttons are. Oh, here's one over here. Look at this one. If you look up, all you see are branches. It's completely bare. All the leaves are gone. Let me turn you around from here. Just look up at the tops of the trees. That's how you can tell. Some of these, a lot of them, here we go, we've got green and there's bare. There's some completely bare ones. They look like dead trees because they have no leaves on them. The vines still have leaves, but not the tree. There's a couple there on the left. Bare, three or four or five right in front of each other or right in a row. A whole bunch of them here. This is what it's supposed to look like this time of year. All green and leafy and beautiful. See all the leaves on these trees? That's what it's supposed to look like. So it looks like this one road hasn't been hit bad, at least not yet. But this tree has, because I can see a lot of blue through it. As soon as you can start to see in the sky, like that tree there, devastated, empty. This tree up in 1920. Thought I was getting a penny, but it's not. It's a ring. I'm sure it's a ring. Yeah, it's got a little bling on it. Could be copper, could be silver. Oh, probably crap, look at that color. Yeah, copper. Oh, it's copper, but that's all right. It's a ring, I like finding rings. Cool. Right. Yeah, that's copper. Oh, that's all right though, it's still very pretty. I'm sure those aren't, aren't diamonds, but they might be malachite. Looks like you could have some of that mixed in. Could be a very pretty ring. I'll have to clean that up and take a look. Too bad it's not gold, huh? <laughs> well, not too bad for the person that lost it, but too bad for me. Very pretty. Let me get a close up. Sparkles. Alright, moving on. Okay, we got some sunglasses here. I knocked the lens out trying to find it. I couldn't pinpoint it because everywhere I stuck the pinpointer, of course, I got metal. Doesn't look like they were anything expensive. That's pretty cool. Who knows, maybe there's something else here too. Can't tell. Can't tell the brand. Check them out later, but I doubt they're any good. Okay, moving on. Alright. Found this. It's a dog tag. It says owner Ronnie. If lost, call. And the back says B Marley. This might be some kind of a fancy tag, I don't know, but I will call and let him know I found the tag anyway. Hopefully everything's good. All right, moving Everyone's on. wondering what AirPods ring up as. It's a 19. Just found these. And as long as they, let's say, yep, there's one in there. I don't know how old it is or even if it'll work anymore, but as long as they registered it, you know, connected it to their phone, there's a good chance I can get them back. Nice. All right, that's a good find. It wasn't that deep. So it couldn't have been lost more than a year, I would guess. But that's pretty good. Somebody's really gonna be surprised to hear from me. 
that'll be cool. I, I can't wait to do it. All right, moving on. Tampa too, I thought it was getting foil. Got a watch band. Looks like it was quite fancy at one time. Oh, it even has writing on it. It's probably stainless steel. Yeah, I think that's what it says, stainless steel. I don't see the watch in there though. I think that's it, just these three pieces. That's pretty cool. Does that count as jewelry? Partial? Looks like the band was quite pretty with a nice design on it. Cool. All right, if I find the watch part in there, I'll let you know, but I don't think so. Okay, moving on. I have a 14. It's old copper. I don't know if it was a two-piece button or two-piece something else. Anybody know what that is? It's interesting, whatever it is. All right. Nice and green, so copper. Okay, moving on. Tramp 17. I'm expecting a pull tab. Got this instead. Isn't that lovely? Very nice. Tried to find the back. I didn't. They usually ring up a 10, the backs. I find push pin backs. Well, I haven't in a long time, but I used to find a lot of them. That's a nice find. I like that. Okay, moving on. Looks like it's got some kind of a ring sizer in it. Not noticed that before. Is that extra inside? Oh, didn't work. Pretty. Right, we'll clean these two things up. See what we have. Oh, it's missing stones too. Yeah, it's definitely a junker. 